The news this past summer could lead us to, to despair about the prospects for the world's children, or even uh, for humanity itself. This morning, however, I choose to focus on hope for our future and for our children's futures. Because we are here at the UNICEF Executive Board, and as we have seen since the dark days of the Second World War and many other wars that have plagued us since and in the interim period, since this organization was founded, that wherever and whenever UNICEF works for children, there is always hope. There is always hope. Where children are indeed, UNICEF is indeed there. The supply division in Copenhagen has sent record amounts of medical supplies to West Africa to fight the Ebola outbreak and the country team staff in Sierra Leone and Liberia have ramped up their efforts to deliver those supplies to populations wherever they are in need. And we know that that unit, that division continues to remain seized of the challenges that are faced elsewhere. Likewise, in Iraq and Syria, where UNICEF has delivered humanitarian supplies to families fleeing conflict, or in Gaza, where UNICEF is already working to help children resume their education after such a terrible and morally and ethically devastating conflict, that they have actually risen and responded, and UNICEF is there. In South Sudan, in Somalia, in, in the Ukraine, everywhere I look, you see the hand of UNICEF. An important reason to speak of hope, as I said earlier, is the upcoming 25th anniversary of the ratification of the Conven Conf Convention on the Rights of the Child. The CRC is the most widely ratified international human rights in instrument in history. It has changed the way children are viewed, it has changed the way in which societies respond to children. It has changed the way in which families, parents respond to children. It has changed the way in which governments engage around the issues of children. Because of this convention, children are treated as human beings with a distinct set of rights instead of a passive object of care and charity from others. In every region of the world, the convention has inspired changes in laws and practice that have improved the lives of millions of children. And UNICEF has been and continues to be a leader in the fight for children's rights in the field, but also in the realm of policy, data, research, evaluation, and the focus on equity. This to ensure that the rights of all children are respected.